good, my nigga? Where we at, man? We in Atlanta with it right now, you hear me? You already know. See? Right, now for the people who don't know, you approach rappers every day, all day. Like, how, how, did, how did this come about? Fuck, came to Atlanta grinding and shit, you hear me? And once I saw Young Thug, I rapped the Young Thug. I ain't do it thinking it was gonna go viral though, you hear me? But about six months later, the bitch went viral. So I said, man, I'ma study that strategy and I'ma do that, you hear me? Yeah. That what made me start doing that shit, you hear me? And ever since that, I've been successful with it, you hear me? Right now, we right here, we at the train station in Atlanta. Suitcase. I mean, what? I mean, do you, like, how do you get around? Do you have a car? Like, do you just, do you just grind it out, take the bus? Like, what do you do to get to, to get to these people? I either, you hear me? Mega bus. I go to all the big events, you hear me? Plane, mega bus. That's how I get it, you hear me? Sleep out the car. That's how I get it, you hear me? Yeah. So, do you kind of feel disrespected that you put in all this work and it's like, I mean, well, have you even got a deal or anything yet, or offer or anything? No, man, I've been got a couple of people, you hear me, like features, you hear me? I ain't gonna say no names, but I got a couple of features on my new project about to come out, you hear me? Yeah. Shout out Rich Homie, though, you hear me? Yeah, now, I mean, it seems as though Black Youngster's like the only one that really, like, came out and really, like, co-signed you for real. Right, 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 right. But it's like, the, like, these other people you rap to, it's like, okay, you rap for them and then they just keep walking. You kind of feel like... Right. Like, what, what, are, what are your thoughts, like, when you rap to them and they kind of, like, I feel they short like, to you? I feel like they ain't gotta do nothing for me. I feel like, you know what I mean? They gave me that chance to rap to them. I gotta prove myself as a rapper, you know what I mean? They did as much as they could by standing there and letting me rap to them. You know what I mean? That's all I was looking for, for them to stand right there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, do you got like some type of rapper GPS or some shit? Like, how do you know when these niggas be at? Yeah, man, I got my rapper GPS in the bag, man. You hear me? <laughs> alert, they alert me, bro, when they come, bro. You hear me? When they alert me, fuck, I just start rapping, you hear me? Yeah. Uh, no, no, what, what rapper is. What rapper do you look forward to meeting and rapping for one day? Tunchi. Tunchi Lee. That's the hardest nigga to get to, but I'm going to get to him. You hear me? Tunchi next and Jay-Z. After that, I'm stopping. You hear me? I'm going to drop my mixtapes when I get that completed. You hear me? So after Wayne and Jay-Z, you done? I'm done with it. You hear me? I feel like my, my mission is completed. You hear me? Yeah. Once that and Kodak, I just seen Kodak got out of jail. He next to on my list. You hear me? He's going to be on that soon. So why Wayne? Is it because it's a New Orleans thing? Yeah, it's a New Orleans thing, you hear me? When I want Tune to recognize me, you hear me? I'm the next nigga coming up from New Orleans, you hear me? Yeah. That's why I want Tune, you hear me? Tune gonna recognize me, you hear me? Right, so do you live in New Orleans or Atlanta right now? I'm back and forth. New Orleans, Atlanta, everywhere, you hear me? Yeah. I ain't really got a place stand right now. I'm just everywhere with it right now, you hear yeah. me? I ain't got a place to settle on right now. I'm yeah, New Orleans, New, New Orleans is, is, is kind of getting dangerous again. Like yesterday, 13 people shot. I seen you posted on your on your jaw. Yeah, man, city hectic right now, you hear me? Especially when you got fame coming up in New Orleans. That's dangerous. Rest, rest in peace, BTY Young, you hear me? For sure. Yeah. Right now, have you ever rapped for an artist and he kind of like disrespected you? Like, like, what's something? Tell us a story where you felt really disrespected after rapping for somebody. Fifty Cent, you hear me? Shout out Fifty Cent though. He walked out, walked off after I rapped to him, but that wasn't about nothing. You hear me? Shout out Fifty Cent. I'ma see him again. Okay. So yeah. why, why'd you feel disrespected though? Like how I did it, I rapped to him. And he walked off. You hear me? And security guard stopped me. Like I don't want to hear that. So I'm like, all right, Fifty, I'ma see you again. You hear me? I'm trying to get rich or die trying. You hear me? That's how I felt. Get rich or die trying. Fifty gonna see me yeah. again. You hear me? Now I see you rap for Uzi and a whole bunch of different artists with stature, Migos. That's what's really like kind of popped you off too. Right. Who showed the most love? To tell you the truth, all them, all of them showed me love. You hear me? All of them. I can't see. All of them showed me love, you hear me? Every, every single one of my raptors showed me love, you hear me? So I can't really see, you hear me? All them bitches showed me love, you hear me? I feel like the artist that really shows you love, I feel like the artist that that is going to reach out to you and put you on a song, like like break you as an artist, yeah. I feel like that's going to help them right. way more. Like right. it's going to help you, right. but I feel like once one artist is really like grabs you, under the, grabs you by the arm like nigga you coming with me I feel like there, it's really gonna help them because there's so many artists that passed you up right I know who I think that's gonna be you hear me La I think it's gonna be La you hear me Boosie I gave him my disc like two times he left my disc two times he left my shit in New Orleans on the table he left it in Atlanta 
on the table, you hear me? But that second time I found this bag, you hear me? I said, man, I'm still gonna give him this bag back, you hear me? I posted on Instagram, Boosie, you left your bag at the mall. Boosie hit me up the next day, you hear me? I'm like, dang, he hit me up. Where you at? I need that bag. Gave it to him. He remembered me ever since, but I think it's gonna be Boosie, you hear me? Yeah. You hear me? I got a song called My Jewel. I'm trying to get Boosie on right now, you hear me? But it's just taking time. I think niggas be want to get to know you before they even like make a move on you, you hear me? So I think it's gonna be Boosie, you hear me?